What's going on, everybody? My name. Oh my god. Is that. Oh, there's a leftover rabbit? No way. They, uh, they did the PTR event. <laughs> there are rabbits everywhere. And one of them is up on the roof still. Nobody tagged this one. I'm, you know what? I'm actually going to leave them. I'm not going to shoot them. I'm going to let them live. You'll live to see another day, bunny. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's awesome. Um, my name's Slender. And uh, for those of you that don't know me, I make a bunch of New World videos. And uh, today's video is going to be on crafting your own instrument. It's actually really, really cool. I'm going to show you what a, a legendary guitar looks like. And then we're going to also take a look at some amazing buffs that we're going to get with uh, music. So let's take a look at the crafting process and, you know, we'll go from there. So hope you guys enjoy. All right. So first things first, you make the actual instruments at the workshop and you need furnishing. And it's going to be all the way down here at the bottom. And you can make each and every instrument yourself. Um, they start out at tier two, and then they go to tier three, which is the musician set. Tier four, which is the composer set. And then finally, the legendaries are the virtuosos. And I actually made a legendary guitar and I'll show you guys, but I'll show you the process. It requires a lot of materials. Most of the materials um, are, you know, just stuff that we're already used to. And they seem to use different, the, the legendaries are going to be using like snail slime. You're going to have to get pearls. So it's another thing that, you know, you're going to need to fish for, which is kind of cool. It gives us another reason, you know, to get fishing. But anyway, um, so the main instruments, they are crafted in furnishing, but some of these resources are crafted elsewhere. And I'll show you right now, like the ebony fingerboard, that's something new that they've added for the guitar. You need a pearl plectrum. That's something new they've added. The harmonious reed, something new. So they each have these um, resonant hide. That's another thing that's different. So these are all new materials, not new materials, but new things that we're gonna have to craft. And I'll show you guys right now. So these new materials, like the resonant hide, the harmonious reed, the pearl plectrum, and the iridescent inlay, Oh, and the ebony fingerboard. These are all required to make the epic versions or the tier four ones. And you only need two of them. But for the legendary ones, you're going to need six of them. So let's take a look at where and how you craft these. So the resonant hide is an easy one. It takes rugged leather, some tannin, and some lumber. So that one is super, super easy. And then the other two, ebony fingerboard and the harmonious reed, those are both made with furnishing. You need lumber and gold for the fingerboard, lumber, gold, and reeds for the harmonious reed. So that one's also going to be super easy. And I'm sorry, you don't need furnishing for these. You need 50 engineering. And the final two take stone cutting at uh, level 50. And these ones are the harder ones to make on the PTR, you know, because you need brilliant gemstones. And, you know, all we get with our boxes are the pristine ones, but I mean, it's going to be easy and live, super, super easy. And then this one took me forever to make because I had to get three brilliant pearls. Well, a lot of brilliant pearls because you need six of these plectrums and you only get two every time you craft one. Um, but in live, they're going to be super, super easy to get. So not going to be an issue, but you will have to have 50 stone cutting. So if you're planning on crafting some uh, legendary instruments, which are really, really cool, make sure you have some engineering, some stone cutting, and then furnishing. So it's kind of like a tiered system. Well, it is a tiered system. Everything in this game is. But now that I have the apprentice guitar, it's actually required to make the next level the musician's guitar. So it actually will consume this one, kind of like your, um, your trophies, you know, for gathering and, and stuff like that. You have to have the tier below it's required to make the next tier up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start from the bottom and work our way up. Now, I already have a couple musicians drums, so I'm not going to actually craft a musician drum, but I am going to go ahead and craft the uh, apprentice one so that you can just see the process. 
So apprentice drum requires timber, some iron ingots, some sandpaper, and some ash stain. So we're gonna go ahead and craft that. Let's see what kind of perks we get on it. So we've got Busker's Blessing and Fanfare. And then what we're gonna do is normally we would take the musician's drum and we would, or we would take the apprentice drum and upgrade it to the musician's drum with uh, some maple stain. You also need some snail slime, which you're gonna get from fishing. And that's why I said fishing does play, a, you know, not a huge part or a huge role, but you are gonna need some fishing for the instruments. So now that we have the musician's drum, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it to the composer's drum. So this is where the resonant hide comes in. So we're gonna go ahead and craft two of those. I already have this nail slime, I already have the musician's drum and everything else. Just need some weird wood planks and some resonant hide. Now this is a special material that's new to the game. So we're just gonna go over to the leather working station and I've already got the materials for it and it's gonna require 50 leather working. And I'm gonna go ahead and craft the one because one is actually gonna give you two. And I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need more later. We're gonna need a total of six. So there's two, four, six. So we're gonna need eight of your total. And there we go. Now that we have the resonant hide, I'm gonna go grab some weird wood really quick. I'll be right back. Now, before we craft that, we're gonna go ahead and take, or actually, you know what? We're just gonna craft it. So we got our weird wood planks. We've got our two resonant hide, and we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the musician's drum to the composer's drum. And there it is. We've got Busker's Blessing, which is a full tip amount. Spotlight, which is good for playing solo. You get a little, you know, 10% bonus for your XP. Second chance, the first missed note is ignored and fanfare. So if we hit the final note, um, as a perfect note, we're gonna get another 10% experience boost. So a total of 20% if you get the last note as a perfect note. So now we have one, two, three, and we're actually going to make our legendary one now. And the legendary one's gonna consume this one. So before I do that, I just wanna show you what all these look like. So first, we're gonna equip this one. Oh yeah, and I forgot, they are buying on equip, so who knows how much they're gonna be worth, but I'm pretty sure, you know, Burnishing is gonna make some pretty good money selling these legendary instruments, especially if you start stocking up on the materials now, you know, we'll be able to sell these and may maybe make a decent amount of coin. So this is the basic drum, the tier two, which is the, I think it's the very first tier. So, you know, just your standard wood, and here is the next step up, the blue one that you start out with. Well, you start out with it on the PTR. But this would be the tier three drum set. And this one is the epic composer's drum set that we just crafted. And now we can craft the legendary one, the Virtuoso's Drum, which again is gonna eat up and consume our composer's drum. So for the final one, you're gonna need 35 ironwood planks, eight ore calcum ingots, 15 obsidian sandpaper, or this is gonna be the only sandpaper in the game now, 50 mahogany stain, four snail slime, the drum, and then six of those new materials, the resonant hide. And there it is. So we've got Spotlight, Ensemble, Opening Act, Fanfare, and Busker's Blessing. So this right here is probably gonna sell for a pretty good amount, in the beginning anyway, because everybody's gonna wanna start doing the music thing. 
especially with the buffs that we're going to get. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. So I got kind of carried away and ended up making all the legendary instruments. I mean, it was a lot of fun. So I just hammered away and got them all crafted. And I made sure to have the moonlight out for you guys. Check it out. It's beautiful. And this is the flute. These are all legendary. Here's the mandolin. These are the drums. And the cello or the upright bass. And I wish they had the saxophone. That'd be so cool. Yeah, they put a lot of detail into this. You can see the wood grain. Super nice. Really elegant. And then I figured, you know, might as well show you guys the different stats. I mean, I think there's only like six different perks on them or available. So you got Busker, Second Chance, Spotlight, Ensemble, Fanfare, um, Ensemble, and Spotlight. Spotlight's the solo one, 10% music boost, experience, and then Ensemble is the non-solo playing in a group. Uh, let me see, opening act. Yeah, yeah, it looks like there's six of them. So, pretty cool stuff. Really excited. Can't wait to, uh, you know, get my music all the way up. Now, let's check out the buffs. This is the really cool part. <clears throat> so, these buffs, they last for one hour. So, you've got increased gathering speed. You start out with that one at level two. Level five, you get increased territory standing bonus. You know, it's, it's decent. Um, group XP sharing bonus at 25 and that's just you know the experience you gain when you're in a group with somebody not for music you know just for like leveling and you know, dungeons all that stuff and then these are where they get really good so you got song in your step that's gonna increase or reduce your encumbrance so you know you're gonna be able to carry more stuff uh, fortune's favor that's gonna be a gathering yield increase which is super nice I can't wait for that one and then gathering luck so I'm really trying to level up as fast as I can so I can actually unlock these and see what the numbers are and also see if it stacks with everything else. And I imagine it would like, what would be the point if they didn't stack, you know? So the potent or whatever potion that is, you know, that gives you increased yield, um, the encumbrance potion, you know, and then all the luck food and stuff. I'm thinking these are all going to stack. So it's going to be really, really cool. I can't wait. Oh, and, and when I say stack, I don't mean like these all stack together. I mean, you know, this uh, gathering yield should stack with the potion. The luck, the gathering luck should stack with the gathering luck food and, you know, gear and all that stuff. That's what I meant. Not these, you, can, you can't have all these at the same time. And as soon as I get leveled up, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time between now and when the patch comes out, but I will let you know either in another video or in the description for this video. So stay tuned, look out for it, and I will find the information, guys. And hopefully we get a couple more buffs, you know, maybe a really good buff at level 200, maybe, you know, global luck, um, you know, loot luck, who knows? Possibilities are endless. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, leave it in the comments. I will get to them. What the heck is... Oh my god, is that a giant turkey? <laughs> it is a giant turkey. No way. Uh, leftover from the PvP event, or the, the PTR event, rather. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, questions, let me know. You guys all have a great day.